If you want to dunk and finish just like this every single game, leave that like, man. These badges I am going to talk about will increase your dunking ability by 10 folds, man. These are the best finishing badges in NBA 2K20. Today, as you guys can see, my name is now Casa. It's no longer Casa's Lego 24. But let's get straight into the best badges. Leave that like. Helps the channel grow and leave a comment as well. What is your favorite finishing badge? And hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for 57,000 subscribers. Let's get straight into it. Without further ado, let's get straight to the first badge. The first badge we're looking at is Contact Finisher. It is the best finishing badge hands down so if you see your finishing badge see you're taking a layup or a dunk that's one percent covered or higher as soon as it hits one percent contact finisher jumps in and activates so what contact finisher does it helps you make contact laps and contact dunks it will help you create contact to get them posterizing dunks like i showed you at the start and help you pull off more contact dunks and make you finish all your layups and all your dunks so if you're sick and tired of going into the paint and having 1% covered layups or dunks missed, this is the badge you need. So on Hall of Fame, your percentage of layups and dunks will go in by four times, man. So you'll be catching so many bodies, you'll be making so many contested layups. You'll be an absolute finishing demon inside the paint, all because of having at least silver contact finish. You want to put on at least silver. If you only have one finishing badge, put it on contact finisher. This is the only badge that you really need to be able to create a lot of contact dunks and make your dunks and layups and stuff in the paint. Let's go on to the second finishing badge. The second best finishing badge on this game is Slithery Finisher. Now, the way the Slithery Finisher works, Slithery Finisher helps you avoid contact in the paint, but there's also a thing, I made a video on this a couple of weeks ago that didn't get any views, but if you did not watch that video, I highly recommend you go watch that because I'm going to give you a full in-depth tutorial on how this stuff works with Contact Finisher. So Slithery Finisher activated with Contact Finisher will help you create more bodies. It actually works together. It's like a dynamic duo badge, but on its own, Slithery Finisher, so if you go for a layup, Slithery Finisher will help you avoid the contact and have a lot of separation. So if you see that animation when you guys slipping past the player, or he's laying on your back and you're like flicking the ball between hands and it goes in every single time, that is Slithery Finisher. It never pops up on the screen, okay? So it's one of the badges that never pop up. So it will help you create, help you get the contact dunks for one. Second, it will also help you not get blocked on your layups or dunks because it actually separates you from the person behind you and or in front of you and gives you that little bit of separation to help you make that contested layup, man. Or if you're open, you have a little bit of the guys on your back, that's where Slithery Finisher comes in and helps you make the layup. So that's why it's the second best finishing badge in the game. So that is the full in-depth. Let's go into the third finishing badge I recommend for every single build, man. The third finishing badge I recommend for every single build is a fan favorite on this game. It is overpowered. It is called Fancy Footwork. Now, fancy footwork, you've seen this on so many players, especially comp players, be able to do big hop steps. Now, remember, when you're having fancy footwork on, the layout package you want equipped is Long Athlete. Long Athlete is the secret to these big, long hop steps that you see these comp players use. Now, this is a secret of theirs, so if you made this far in the video, leave that like just for that secret. But helps you separate from the opponent, so you double tap X or double tap square, depending on what console that you are on. Fancy Footwork will give you that long, huge hop step animation to separate you from the defense. So the defender's on your back. Double tap X or double tap square. Do that big hop step with long athlete layout package on. You have so much separation that you'll be wide open underneath the paint with that. So that's why people cheese with this one. It's the biggest cheesing finishing badge in the game. So I recommend this for every single build, okay? Even on silver, I would put it lowest on silver to have the full effect that we would have. But if you have a Hall of Fame, Oh, trust me, you've seen people do this. It's actually overpowered, and 2K may have to nerf it in 2K21 because this badge gives you that much separation. It's just insane. So you want to use this to get the separation and to be able to get easy layups every single time. So you'll be overpowered with this badge. Now for the fourth best finishing badge I recommend for every single build is consistent finisher. This is another fan favorite of people who use finishing badges. Consistent finisher reduce the penalties for missed time layups so if you're one like everyone in this game who can't time layups to their full extent 
this badge will help you. So I put this on gold to hold of fame. I put it on at least a bronze. So when I don't actually time the layup, it still goes in. So if you see your opponent make, making very early and so stuff like that, that's where this one actually works, okay? So it helps you for very early, very late, slightly early, slightly late, anything like that. It actually helps you so very early and very late will go in with this bad especially if you mistime it heavily you will be able to make the labs a very high percentage of the time because this to finish it is a must-have for every single build so you really need this to make your labs in the paint let's go into the fifth best bad the next finishing badge i highly recommend for every single build is relentless finisher now i did a full video on this one as well earlier in the year now relentless finisher i have noticed it only says what it does in the description, but it doesn't tell you the full extent. That's why I don't look at the descriptions of any of these badges. So what Relentless Finisher does, every time you take a contested layup and or dunk, it reduces the amount of stamina lost. But also I have noticed that I make a lot more layups with Relentless Finisher on when I don't have it off. When I have it off, I make like half of the layups I make. When I have it on, I make like 80 to 90% more layups. I have noticed this is really, really good. If you put this with Slithery and Contact Finisher, them three badges all together can make this, make your finishing build into an absolute demon. That's why I love finishing builds in this game. Because if you put the right finishing badges on, just like the ones I'm talking about right now, that could elevate your game to become the ultimate inside rim running god, man. You could become the best finishing player in the game with these badges. So Relentless Finisher helps you make contested layups and dunks and reduces the amount of stamina loss. So if you lose stamina quickly, st Relentless Finisher, at least on bronze, help you make the lab and not lose as much stamina as you should as 2k loves to reduce stamina from players let's go on to the next badge okay for the next finishing badge we're looking at giant slayer now if you're a player that's six foot eleven and above i wouldn't recommend putting this badge on because it only helps you make layups over taller defenders so it increases your percentage of making a layup over a taller defender and decreasing the percentage of the chance of you getting blocked with the hall of fame badge it will increase your layup ability over taller opponents by 20 percent 15 percent for gold, 10% for silver, and only 5% for bronze. So it does, if you put on a Hall of Fame, you're gonna be making them layups. So if someone's seven foot three and you're six foot three, it activates. So if you're six foot three and he's six foot four, it activates. So as long as they're only one inch taller than you, it automatically updates. So it only works on layups. So if you go in the paint and the bigger defender comes at you, you'll be able to make the layup over the top of him with giant slayer. So it makes it slays the giants basically. So you can make layups over the taller opponents and you'll be able to finish the rim more consistently. That's why I recommend Giant Slayer for players who are six foot and 11 and under for every single build. Put it on at least bronze. If you're like a six foot nine playing center, put it on bronze and you'll see the, the success rate you'll increase of making layups in the paint over total defenders. Let's go on to the next badge. The next finishing badge is an overpowered one, which is cross key scorer. I did a full video on this. Look in the description. I scroll my channel, look up cross key scorer. Now this badge, if you love to cheese the close shots, this badge is for you. So if you have this activated on the Hall of Fame, on Hall of Fame, you'll be able to make nearly every single close shot, man. It'll be automatically green. And if you don't time it correctly, you still will make it off the dribble. So if you're, so for instance, you're on the dribble, you open up there, seeing the paint's wide open, you do a fade away on the side of the three point, on the side of the paint, so the right or the left side. Even at the top of the paint, it still works. So if you're doing any fades in the paint, the cross key score activates. So it is, you know, no, no, close shots are already super overpowered. You put cross key score at least bronze, you'll be making a lot, all your close shots, so you won't be missing any of them. So that's why I recommend cross key score for every single build unless you're like a pure center inside center or something you're not really going to be fading that much if you're like a six nine point uh, center small forward powerful whatever you have you so if you're six foot nine and below this badge is incredible for you that's what i recommend it for so this is another finishing badge i recommend let's go into the next one the next finishing badge we're looking at is lob city finisher this is self-explanatory but lob city finisher increases your chances of finishing a lob layup or a lob dunk in the paint if they're contested, so if you're contested, you're sick of missing contact or missing alley-oops because of Intimidator, this will help you make the layup over that Intimidator. Actually, negates Intimidator, helps you dunk on the opponent and have a lot of flashy dunks as well. So you have like the layup packages on. So you want to have the alley-oop contact layup packages on to have the full effect of this badge. 
But I put in at least bronze, especially if you want to be rep grinding, you do need this bat finishing badge on your player. For every single build, I recommend this. If you're a finishing badge, finishing player going for rep finishing a lot of the time, put this badge on and you will not miss any alley oops. You'll probably miss like one or two because, you know, 2K. Eight out of 10 times, you'll make the alley oop with this on Hall of Fame. Probably five to six out of 10 times, you'll make it with bronze. But that is that badge. Now, the second last badge I want to talk about is. Pick and roll. And now, pick and roll is a fan favorite of mine. When rolling off the pick and roll, the shot boost is applied to the layup or dunk attempt. So, or obviously, so if you're setting a screen, you're a center setting the screen and you're rolling to the paint, it will increase your shot percentage in the paint or making the layup or dunk. And also, it gives you a small speed increase to be able to get to the paint faster with the ball. So, if you if you like to pick and roll a lot, pick and roller is the badge for you, especially for centers. This is great for power forward centers, small forwards, whoever's playing the center position and loves to roll and catch alley oops off the roll. This will help you make them alley oop catches off the roll. Okay, so pick and roller is another good one. Now, the last badge I want to talk about is deep hooks now deep hooks is the most overpowered badge for post players so if you're a post player and want to do a lot of post hooks and stuff like that deep hooks will make sure you met don't miss any post hooks this badge is super overpowered for the finishing badge and i highly recommend this for any single post scorer so they are the best finishing badges in the game. Now, a couple ones you can have a look at is Drop Stepper and Back Down Punisher. Back Down Punisher obviously helps you back down the opponent and get to the paint. And then Drop Stepper, if you tap X or tap Square, you Drop Step the opponent and it create a lot of space. You have to have an open layup or dunk. That one, you obviously can have on Put Back Boss. This is the last one I want to talk about. And Pro Touch. Pro Touch is a really good one. Pro Touch helps you make additional boost to your time if you have a good time so slightly early or slightly late it will increase it to go green or make it so it's like consistent finisher helps you with slightly late, uh, early's and late pro touch helps you with slightly early's and slightly late so that's a really good one as well and then pull back boss obviously helps you with making if you get a rebound and put it back up over the opponent it helps you get that dunk over them players but they are the best finishing badges in nba 2k20 that's the ones i highly recommend for every single build best as far the video type in the comment section mvp and i'll follow you back on twitter if you leave your twitter dm twitter thing on the description make sure you have my notifications on my twitter and my youtube so i'm going to put a tweet out and put your notifications and your tweet and a notification for my twitter and my Twitch and my YouTube, and I'll follow you back on Twitter. But that is today's video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.